All right, really. All right, guys. Just briefly, I wanted to demonstrate for you the difference between disassembling a Glock 19 standard and disassembling the Shadow Systems MR920. So this is the Glock 19, and what you do is you confirm that it's safe. That is a safety uh, device. That's a dummy round in there, that blue color. And you're going to pull the trigger, and you're going to pull it back, kind of however much you want, but usually about a quarter of an inch, half of an inch. Pull down on the safety tabs, the safety tabs, the barrel, the disconnector. And you don't want to do this with a mag, you want to remove the magazine first. And remove the slide. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. This returns to the top. And then to put it back together, you're going to do the same thing essentially. And this is going to eject that safety round, but that's okay. It's not going to load a new round or anything. I'll have to find that in a minute. But that's all there is to it. Again, take note of just how much space there is right here. And you need one pull of the trigger, obviously ensuring that this is safe, and you're good to go. And then it goes back on the same way with, pretty, with very little fuss. Now the Shadow Systems MR920 isn't all that different. The magazine is already removed here. And uh, I'll just show you from a cocked position. Um, except that you only want to pull it back just a little tiny bit or the trigger will re-engage. So I'll show it both ways, whether you're doing it right and what Shadow Systems calls wrong, but my friend Dave over at Humble Marksman channel said his only will do it the uh, quote-unquote wrong way, uh, but it does come off either way, so it's I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, maybe Shadow, if someone from Shadow Systems can correct me if they see this video. Anyway, so you pull the trigger, and then unless you want to reset that, have to pull that trigger a second time, you only want to pull it back even just the tiniest bit. Like, as you can see, that's like a millimeter. And I pull down on these. You can feel kind of a catch, and it comes right off. You can feel kind of a catch right here. If you go back, here, I'll go ahead. And this is acting a little stiff because it doesn't, it's got a really tight chamber. It doesn't really like the barrel blocker I've got in there for verified safety, but um, it's just kind of an extra measure for ensuring safety while on video. Um, anyway, uh, so with this MR, again, this is my MR920. Um, pull the trigger, pull it back even just the tiniest bit, and right here it moves freely, but if I pull it back even just a little bit further, Okay, I've still got free movement, but now it's going to reset the trigger. I'm going to have to do another trigger pull to get it off, which is what Dave was saying he was experiencing. So anyway, um, kind of uh, quirky, but like a lot of things about this pistol, but not terrible. Uh, I'm actually okay with it. Um, I do kind of worry about it on a contact shot. But the chances of me having to do a contact shot are, really, uh, shot are really low. And if it's come to that, it's a bad situation anyway. Um, but uh, And I'll want to use the hold the slide forward technique. Because that way it can't engage the out of battery safety. Anyway, so yeah. Break the trigger. Pull it back just a tiny bit. You'll hear that little click. And it'll go forward. But... If you break the trigger, pull it back just a little bit, and then, or you don't, if you don't pull it back far enough, you are going to get a stuck slide release. And if you pull it back too far, like you would a normal Glock, you're going to get a trigger reset. It's going to catch on the sear back here, and you're going to have to pull that trigger one more time. So that's what I've run into, or that's my experience. Your mileage may vary, which is a little weird, but between John Lovell's endorsement, these guys' own testing, and my testing so far, I, I know I'm, I don't have a high round count on it just yet, um, but I'll get there. Um, I'm very confident in this being a very capable, accurate, and reliable handgun, and I'm really excited to keep on carrying it and possibly use it in some competitions coming come next year. Um, 
But I'm going to go ahead and install the extended slide release here in a moment and uh, then probably call it a night. Thanks for watching, everybody.